Okay, well that was the worst timing possible. We got the call that the plane was coming. We got everything ready. We saw the plane. The plane was like right there coming in hot. And then this storm kicks up and the plane leaves. We are soaked. You can hear the thunder. Everything, uh, everything we have is put away. We have no shelter and the plane left. The plane is gone because it couldn't fly in the storm. So now, what? This is day nine, morning of day nine. Hello, how are you doing? and smelt some smoke. Part of the forest is burning right now. You can really see it. Smoke stacks. This is unreal. It's like a dream. Full ramming speed ahead. Oh man, way less visibility here. I can't say I'm not a little concerned if I'm being honest. What would you do? What would you do if you're out here? No life line out. All flights are grounded. No, what would you do? Hey guys, how you doing? Well, this is it. We're on the start of a remote wilderness trip. We'll be out here for seven nights, eight full days. Just remote. I got dropped off in that plane like you saw. I just threw my first line in. I'm waiting on Kyle. Kyle is coming with me. He's going to be here in about two hours and he'll have a secondary um, float plane flight in. So I'm just going to hang out on this lake here, do some fishing and wait for the old guy to show up. Then I'm going to start on our journey. This trip isn't going to be too, too crazy of distance, probably about 75 kilometers in the seven nights we're here, eight days. And uh, so that's just over 10 clicks a day. It's not bad, but we're going to do a lot of fishing. A lot of exploring, some portaging, maybe some rapids. Should be great. This is what I've been, this is what I've been needing. This is what I've been wanting for since the ice was off the lake. We're gonna see how this goes. Wish me luck. I'm already having fun. Okay, I got a fish on. It's been a couple minutes. Still no sign of Kyle. But now we got a pike on. All right. Never caught one of these before. <laughs> hey, buddy. A little pike to start the day, start the trip with. That's all right. We're gonna need the pliers, I think. Oh yeah. I'm trying to stay organized as much as possible on this trip for once. You guys know who I am, right? <laughs> we will uh, I'll try and not pull too many Joes this trip. Yeah, he's going back in. Peace. All right, on the board. They're losing, Kyle. We're losing. <laughs> we may have a friendly wager. We'll uh, we'll get get you all the info on that after once Kyle gets in here.
Fancy seeing you here. Oh, hey there. It's a nice boat you got. Thanks, bud. What took you so long? What? You haven't flipped it yet, have you? Okay. You to hold this rope. Yep, I'm on my way. Yeah, I'll drop your camera. Yeah, I'm really be bad. So? Uh, I'm very happy. I'm enjoying my view, eating my breakfast. Okay, we're going to do this again. So, how was the flight? It was awesome, dude. Yeah? It was great. I saw two bald eagles on the way in. Um, yeah, very smooth, not bumpy. It was awesome. Yep. Now we're here. I'm a little disappointed that I don't have a nice like walleye that you caught for me, prepared, and all that I stuff. I threw it back, man. Did you throw yep. it back? Yep. Okay. I was like, I don't want to... I have oatmeal. That's what I'm eating right I don't want to hurt your feelings. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. the Fair scoreboard's plan. at zero right now, right? Zero, well, zero. it's one zero, but yeah. Why is it one zero? I wasn't even here. <laughs> We've arrived. We've arrived here in what lake are we in, Joe? Uh, <laughs> what day is it? Haven. Haven Lake. We're in Haven I Lake. Uh, the plane just left us. We are all by our lonesome now. Just me and Joe. And... Yeah, exactly. And um, I'm starving. It is almost one o'clock, so we have about eight or nine more hours of daylight. So that's pretty awesome. And I'm eating my breakfast here, some oatmeal. Oh, look at that. Look how cute we are. God, this hat's sexy. Oh God. So, Kyle and I have planned a trip like this for a very long time. We, uh, I don't know if you, what? Kyle and I, Kyle and I. What? Anyways, that's how we all started. Never mind. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Talk. Okay. So, Kyle and I, <laughs> we've been planning a trip like this for a long time. I don't know if you realize, but we don't have the best track record when it comes to fishing trips. It's the truth. Well, no, if you just go back and look at the footage... You'll notice me catching more and larger fish. But like, it's okay. but it doesn't matter... How many, if, how many fish? Hey, in the words of Vin Diesel, it doesn't matter if you win by an inch or a mile, winning is winning. And you just quoted Vin Diesel. I did, I so win. So that's a L. I don't know if you guys realize this, but Kyle and I, we don't have the best track record at fishing trips, right? We, we've been yes, on so. some canoe trips together. Yes, we have. Quite a few, and we've fished as well. We've put lures into put the water, in, yes. Reeled we it in. We've done that. Yeah. We haven't caught the fish, yes. One or two. A couple. Yeah. But not like something to be impressed by. Right. So one or two fish per week-long trip, which is never good. No. Um, so we've come up to where the fish are, because there's no fish where those places we already were. I, I want to make sure this is on camera. Joe has guaranteed me we will catch fish. Yeah, walleye even. Okay. Well, we'll see. So, anyways... This isn't going to be a crazy trip. This is more of a fishing trip. Yep, we're excited about that. We're going to do eight days, and uh, I think our longest portage is 700 meters. <laughs> I mean, like, okay. And there's only like one or two portages per day, uh, so we're used to one or two an hour. And yes, way more than no that. more high mileage. Hopefully, maybe if we slow down and we spend more time fishing, less time portaging, we'll catch more. Fish. That's probably been the problem That's the whole could time. Could be the issue. All right. So because we uh, because we're so confident, because we've never really been so far off with the fish before uh, he's caught two and I've caught zero basically yep. we're gonna do a friendly wager on this trip uh, we never got a, a measuring tape no we didn't we'll have to use like the paddle or something yeah all right or video or video if it's big enough we can go back and okay but yeah so the la the person to catch the most the person to catch the most fish and the person to catch the biggest fish if you do both of those things you get a full Snickers bar on the, or the, what is it? It's, it is a dark chocolate almond butter bar. There you it have it. It is darn good. There you have it. So this will be the who can catch more fish challenge, and then the biggest fish as well. So if you if you do both, if you catch the biggest and the most, you get the full chocolate bar. If you only get uh, one of those, you get half. If you get, obviously, if you're the other guy, you get nothing. Yep. And no sharing, because then it's no, just. No, no, we can't do that. And we're going to be out of chocolate by the end yeah, of the Yeah, it'll be worth sure. something. Yes, we will. It'll be worth yep, something. It'll be something. <laughs> can't wait. For right now, I'm going to keep eating this mushy oatmeal. Yeah, but you get used to eating that because that's all you're eating this mm. trip. Boy! Oh, she's a little heavy. I haven't got in a boat in a while. Yeah, that's why I'm filming it. I don't even know if I remember how to. Uh, that's again why I'm filming it. Do we do anything? Well, we're ready, bud. Okay. Graceful as a gazelle. I mean, I didn't flip it. That's true. Don't sit on the gunnels. Oh, is that like a thing? It is. Oh, hey. 
There's some white caps out here on the lake. There's a little uh, narrows behind a couple of these big islands. We're gonna go try and fish the narrows, hoping to get away from the wind a bit and to get into the fish. How was that wind paddle? That was horrendous. Like the first three seconds of not paddling in several years and it's straight into the wind. <laughs> the wind speed was 17 or 18 kilometers an hour and they're like, if it goes to 20, we can't fly you in. <laughs> I would have had a nice peaceful night by myself. Yeah, you would have, but instead you get me. Yay. How many fish you got? Mm, you just wait, bud. <laughs> We're fishing in the middle of daylight. It's the best time, right? No. My microphone's messed up, but here is me catching a walleye, the first walleye of the trip, the first actual fish that counts on the boards. Not big enough to keep for an eater, so we're throwing them back. We gotta go up and around the next little bay. Really? Yeah. Okay, one second. Okay. Dude, your canoe looks cool. What? Your canoe looks really cool. You know what else? Mm. Looks really cool. We got uh, we got dinner. So just trolling, got a decent walleye. I hate that... you right now. <laughs> it's gonna be dinner. What's that? I'm navigating the whole time. I'm like you're, you're, you're That's what you could call it. If that's what you could call it. Fishing, I'm trying to navigate so you can... There's always an excuse, eh? There's always a reason. Excuse, it's called reasoning. Yeah, there's always a reason. Yeah. It's reasoning. <laughs> anyway, this is gonna be a good, good dinner for old Joe. Okay, let me go prep the campsite for you, Master Robinette. Well, like Kyle said, we are navigating our way over to a campsite. It's almost four in the afternoon now. Sun's high in the sky. It's really windy, so we're tucked behind this little island, and he thinks that the, I don't have my map or anything. It's all packed away. I got to get it out for uh, after supper when we paddle again, but he thinks it's on that side of the island and it's very windy over there so we're hoping that there's another little uh, conclave thing uh, regardless I gotta get my fish into the water because he's pretty warm it's pretty warm out I got a decent walleye that'd be a good supper size for me um, and if Kyle catches one even better but I gotta get them in the water. I gotta keep them in the water because uh, I don't want them getting all funky on me. I imagine I won't eat for a couple hours still. So I just gotta find some paracord and tie them off to my boat. A lot of mayfly larva castings, castings, casings. So when they've shed their their exoskeleton or whatever the case may be, and then they grow the wings and fly. They leave all these casings in the water. It looks like we missed the mayfly hatch by like a week. I assume that would have been hot fishing then. Fish are all turned on by the, the mayflies, fish flies as it were. What do you guys call them, mayflies or fish flies? What do you call them, Kyle? Mayfly or fish fly? Uh, mayfly. He says mayfly. What do you think? Stop here, unload, call this uh, home for the night? Yeah, this works. I like the spot where the tent is right next to all the dead trees. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, and the high winds. Yep. What else could you want? Mm-hmm. There's a nice little landing here, too. I'll get my stuff out of the way. Yeah, take your time. So I'm going to set up, chill out for a little bit, and then head back out. Yep. Sounds good, buddy. Dies down a bit tonight. It will. Guarantee it does. It, so this will be a it will be a beautiful calm night. Yeah. For sure. Good sunset. I mean, yep. It's already, I feel like the wind's dying down a little. Oh yeah, you said that like <laughs> how long ago? <laughs> it's dying down, Joe. It's dying oh yeah, down. she's getting good. Not a minute too soon, the ants have found Mr. Wally. Oh yeah? Yeah. Alrighty. In the water you go, bud. So, we're at our campsite, obviously. We, uh, 
we'll take you around and show it show it to you it's not much to show though it, it's not but compared to that one uh well, yeah there's some flat ground here some flat ground yeah no i actually like it it's not so bad we might maybe string up a tarp for some shade other than that <laughs> yeah that's good yeah she's all right lots of dead trees hanging above so we'll have to yeah be careful check it out i pulled a big old leech out of the uh out of the water I'll be able to use that for bait later on. That'll be really good bait because you know that's what the fish are eating already, right? Let's see if he'll get me. You want to get me? He doesn't even want to get me. What? Not even good enough for a leech. Wah, wah. <laughs> the time has come to go in the water. All right, just overheating like crazy. Got all our stuff ready to set up, but I got to take a dip. I got to chill down a bit. Let's see how she goes. Ah! I'm so... I'm so nervous. I am. I'm, I don't. I'm like, I don't know, man. It's going to be cold. Oh, okay, thanks. Oh, it's much warmer than the water at my house. Yep. Woo! Beauty. I'm catching leeches left and right. <laughs> This is perfect. Oh, it's great. Normally when I go in the water behind my house, I can't even talk, I'm so cold. When Joe can't talk, you know something's wrong. Who wears short shorts? Well, you're not coming in, it's no fun alone. Okay. What's up, bud? The sun came back out. Yeah, it did. Let's go. Let's go for a swim. I'm sure. gonna go for a float. You swim, I float. All right. Do you think with this much fat, I would just naturally float? Yeah, I would. Is it cold? It's no, really no, deep, she's deep, isn't it? It's totally fine, man. What? It's good. I'm scared. Yep. Can I be scared? Yep. Ugh. There is a hook. Ah! There's a hook in the water. Right. Where is this hook? Just see where that uh, green fishing pole is. Yes. It's there's a hook in the water from that. Right there. Yep. Okay, so I should go over there. Well, yeah, because I want to keep. Where the all the, the I should swim through this dead gut infested thing. I would go there. Oh. Where none of that is. Not like right here. Yeah, but you can do whatever you want to do. Fucking, I don't know, man. It looks wet. Okay, I'm gonna go. Well. Let's do it. Let's jump in. Want to hold hands and jump together? Yeah, no, it's cold. I'm gonna go in slowly. <laughs> I'm a big, I'm a big wimp now, dude. Now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 go, man. I don't really care what you Remember do. Remember when I did that one thing in West Virginia? Yeah, I'm surprised you did that. Woo! Ooh, that is a... I landed on a rock hard. I was going to say, there's probably a rock in there. <laughs> wah, wah. In film shin? Yeah. In GoPro shin? I would not disagree with that. Boys, there's a leech onto my bird! Not much meat off that guy. Got two small fillets. What we're gonna do, because it doesn't get dark till like literally 10, 30 or 11, like no joke. Um, you get to have two dinners, Joe? Two dinners. Two dinners. Two dinners, so we're, I'm just gonna have this as a snack. I'll share some with Kyle. I'm just going to use fish crisp, my skillet, I got my bush buddy here if it's out of frame, and um, some lard, a little bit of lard. Grab the lard too, please. Yes, sir. Is that lemon in there? What else do you need? No, is that lemon in that bag? I have no idea. It's whatever you gave it. This is what you gave it. Thanks. It's what you gave it. No lemon. Anyways, I'll get some lemon out of my bag. That, that lard's a little... 
A little, little, little soupy. Well. Well. Not, <laughs> well. Not the only thing that's soupy around here. <laughs> yeah, it's been hot. It's been hot. We, Kyle rigged up this tarp. This old tarp has been around old since blue. since after we would. I was just saying after our first uh, Algonquin backpacking trip, where we used a heavier tarp and. That was the end of that for us because it was heavy. So Kyle whipped this thing up about the same time he whipped up the one that I use all the time. My one I call my Kyle made tart. There's probably a lot of people, Kyle, who started watching my videos after you moved up uh, away. So I assume this is going to be new for a lot of people. They don't understand, my they don't understand your mess. He said awesomeness, but anyway, Kyle's a good buddy. We have a lot of good banter back and forth, and you'll see that throughout this video. So I got a little rock. I've got a rock down on the ground, first off for safety. Well, all we're gonna do to start this, let's grab some twigs, break them, and then light the, uh, the broken ends. It's so dry up here. Look at that. Granted, there's a little tiny bit of moss on there, but oh man. And hopefully that'll catch. If not, we'll just, we'll do it again, but looking pretty good. Yep, looking real good. That's th that's why this land is um, changed, uh, molded by by fire, because it's a, it's a fire-driven forest. It's so easy in here. Lightning comes down, sparks this stuff up. Part of the reason there's no black flies here this time of year. Apparently it's so dry. I didn't believe Harlan when he was telling us, but <laughs> seems like it might be the truth. Idea is we'll try to deep fry them as much as possible. No fish in here. <laughs> Kyle says there's no fish here. Oh yeah, bud. Yeah. Might not be enough lard in there, but we'll see. Look, I have a spatula, Kyle. Joe, what's the best spatula for bushcraft? This one. One that you make out of pine. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere I put my hand. Do you have any hot sauce? Hot. No, I don't. I can't do the hot sauce anymore, man. Really? Yeah, no, I can't do much. Okay. Oh, iodized. No, it's good sauce. Oh, iodized. Oh, perfect. Good then. I was. I don't buy that crap. No, me either. Himalayan pink is the only way. For they me. use diamond crystal, like kosher. Something or other. California. Oh, you got one of these too? Is this a? I don't know. Kelsey got it for me. So I've been. I have a bunch of those. This company sent me a bunch. Yeah. Yeah, a, a bunch of different kinds. Of Dude, them. there's a like a spicy teriyaki one. Yeah. It's but it's hot. There's some with blueberries, like actual like oh, uh, pemmican type. Alrighty, Kyle's. Let's do it. You get this one. Okay. And you get this one. Oh. Want to eat them up? Let's do it. Let's uh. You want a cheers or bud? Is it too hot? What cheers are with our water bottles? No, cheers are with our oh, fish. Oh, their pans here. Cheers. Cheers. cheers, cheers. First walleye of the trip. Yeah. Good. You like? Yes. I'm gonna need two more of these, man. Yeah, I know. This is not <laughs> enough. I was like, oh yeah, this will be totally enough for me to eat. It's fine. We'll have a uh, second second Oh yeah. Hmm. This might be the only port or only um, canoe trip where we actually gain weight versus losing weight. Man, oh, I can't gain weight regardless. But well, you could try. Dude. It was good, right? She good. There's there's a one bone in here. If you could get there, that. There's a few in here. If you get that next time. Yeah, I'll try, man. <laughs> Look at this. Look at the goodness. Mm. 
Look at the goodness. Doug's always the best at deep frying these things. He does it so that they actually taste like popcorn chicken. But look at that. I'm going to... Uh, the salt was on point. I'm yeah, the salt is. Really next, time, next time we'll use lemon as well. My lemon is buried in the bottom of my backpack. It's not, not worth it for this one, but we'll get it out soon. It really does have like a popcorn chicken-y. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, it does. That's really good. That's so good. Very light. Very, very good. This has already been <laughs> more uh, productive than all of our other fishing trips put together. Exactly, right? Yeah. <laughs> we didn't have to portage like a, 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 a trout, or what was that? Was that a, yeah, it was a trout until it turned black. Or yeah, that? that got all funky. Yeah. Into me. It was quite terrible. It was quite terrible. We had to literally stop and eat it before it just went horrible. Yes. Like, rigor mortis, rigor it up. Rick and Morty well, I think you had it on like paracord and you're dragging it down the portage like it was a dog or something. No, definitely not. Well, like, in, a in, little bit. Though. In the water, a little bit. In the water, it was definitely like some real shallow muddy spots where it was just yes. like sucking all down. Yep, it's gills, <laughs> yeah. Full of mud. Remember that? <laughs> some people, you know, they take animals, they stuff them with like a beer can or with right. fruits and vegetables uh -huh. and we just use mud. Mud. Yeah. Nature. It's neat. Nature. All right, I do really want to give the, take this opportunity to give Harlan a huge shout out. Red Lake Outfitters, we wouldn't have been able to come out and do this without you guys. Really appreciate it. This is the third year in a row I've come and Harlan's hooked it up. Um, first year was with Sean. We went to Woodland Caribou. Second year, we, I did that 10-day Crown Land thing. Again, couldn't have done it without Harlan. And then this time. This was last minute. Like, we had this planned, but I didn't know if I was going to be able to come. Even when I came to your wedding, remember I was telling you, I don't know, like, just keep it open. I hope I can go. Anyway, call Harlan last minute, and he made it happen. The thing I, I think Harlan is extremely professional, super helpful, and I see the value in paying the money for the outfitter. You could spend, you know, 30 hours on the internet and gain 10% of what you could get in talking with Harlan for 20 minutes. That's true. You know what I mean? That's true. You do avoid all his negative things. Not <laughs> <laughs> Joking. Thanks, Harlan. Look at his silly hat. Look how silly he looks in his silly little hat. Ooh, I'm Dr. Alan Grant. Life will find a way. Not into the long grass. Don't go into the long grass. There's not many flat spots, not many even flat-ish spots. So we're kind of Using the same real estate here, but that's all right. We're twinsies. What? We're being twinsies here. Twinsies, he says. So I've got my, uh, oh, I forgot I brought a little pillow. This is new to me. This packs down extremely small, even smaller than my down pillow. And it might actually give me a little loft as opposed to not, like my down pillow. Well, that's pretty cool. It has two valves, one that lets you put in a lot at once, and once it's almost full, you close that one. I have the same pillow. Yeah, it's nice. Have you used it? No. It's, I have used it. It's great. It's pretty, pretty buoyant. Pretty full. Then I got uh, a Kyle. I've got a Mountain Hardware, no, Western Mountaineering, plus one degree. It's a nice bag. It's so, feel the, the outside of it, it's so thin. Oh, this is very light. I know. You should have my 15 degree bag. That's yeah, I'm good on the 15 degree bag. What's that in the rest of the world temperature? Like negative nine or 10, something yeah, like that. Yeah, that's, that's... Yeah, I have a lighter bag coming. Yeah, that's, that's overkill. Yeah, that's the same pillow I have. Mine's blue. This is overkill as well. Anyway, getting everything squared away so we can go out and fish soon. Probably gonna wait till seven or seven thirty ish. Oh, look at that! Look at that! The, yeah. the valve is cool, eh? Yeah, it's smart. Why? Why? My question is, why thermarest? Listen, use this valve on your damn air pad so I don't have to hyperventilate every four seconds when I'm blowing it up. Thank you. I'll be here all day. Cause watch this. Like, yeah, thermarest. Why can't you be like more like Sea to Summit? Yeah, come on, huh? Come on, huh? I do love your. Sleeping pads though. And they work great. This one's like five years old, no problem. <laughs> but really though, wouldn't that valve work I, better on this? I, I follow you, man. I'm following. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? I'm tracking. Oh, I might need like four or five of them, get a whole stringer. 
Yeah. 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 Well, see how that goes. Yeah, well, watch out, bud. Watch <laughs> out. Watch out there, bud. <laughs> Kyle's going fishing, and I'm going to start cutting a little bit of firewood before I head out there. Hey, fire Sherpa, hurry up. Yes, sir. All right. Nice and dry. Oh yeah, we got kindling for days on that one too. Oh, bam. Just brought a small little axe for this trip. Should be plenty. Oh, there's some uh, some definite resin in there, so that'll be helpful for fire. What are you screaming about? What? What? My head's getting a little poundy. I've been drinking water like crazy. Need to keep up on that. Sun's low in the sky now. Should be, uh, hmm, got a few hours of light actually still. But Kyle's out there hoping that the, the wind will die down. Doesn't look like it. I'm sure it will later on tonight. It's almost eight o'clock. It does every night up here. This is my experience at least, but I'll probably head out there soon. It is such a gorgeous day. Like, such a gorgeous sight, a gorgeous day. No bugs, no bugs. I'll happily carry that bug jacket without having to use it. This is gonna be a good trip. I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling very good. I felt good for the past few days. I've been away from home for two nights already. Two nights in a hotel getting here. And uh, everything's coming up Millhouse. It's pretty good. We'll see you tomorrow morning how it goes. But as of now, like 90%. Very happy about that. Who's yelling out there? I just heard him yelling. Kyle needs to catch a fish. Cool campsite. Well, I learned my lesson for not going out to fish. Staying in back, cutting firewood like a sucker. Kyle's got three now. He's got a couple of walleye and a pike on, so I'm gonna head out soon. Get to fishing. Yeah, get to fishing. We're going fishing. Nice, man. Yeah. It's good size, right? Wally. Walleye number two, nice, pretty guy. We have teeth on him. I think I might uh, paddle down the old wind tunnel back to see Kyle, see how he's doing. I still want to keep paddling and fishing, definitely. There's a uh, there's a lot of light left. It's nice to be out here when you get those purples and blues and stuff. I love that. This is the second walleye I caught out of this little bay area tonight. I would say this is a pretty good one. There we go, Joe. Nice, man. Boom. Bash me in the face. 
face! Bashed me in the face! Oh my goodness, see me lose. That was crazy. And he's gone. Alright, good. I don't have to deal with him. Another fish. Another fish. Another fishy fish. Fishy fishy fish. I'll keep that one to go with Kyle's. That will be two for me today that I keep. And that will be all that I keep for today. There's a decent sized walleye. Nice. Got some length to him. Got some length to him. It's a walleye. Oh, that's a decent one. That's probably the best one I've caught so far. I cast with this Cyclops, and I thought for sure it was a pike. He's going away. Goodbye. Kyle's got two, and I've got that one. There's no need for any more at all. All right, I think I'm going to go head back now. I'll probably still troll on the way with the, uh, the old uh, Ripplin Redfin. But I'm, I'm completely satisfied with that. I think Kyle's up on me tonight, but... That's all right. I got three walleye tonight and two pike. If you count those pike, we have to discuss the rules. Do we count those pike? Normally I would say no, but in all honesty, I don't want to take pike off my uh, my lure with, like, I don't want to have to do it. Oh, bugs are out. Black flies. Um, that's weird at night. Anyway, I don't want to have to take uh, the pike off my lure. It's not an enjoyable thing a lot of the times so if he can just lose up if I can lose him right at the boat I'm happy with that but I don't know if that counts so we'll, we'll discuss the rules when we get back to camp Oh, he hit hard. He hit hard. Let's see what we got. It feels like a walleye. Feels like a walleye. It's a pike. It's a decent pike. Whoa, buddy. There he goes. <laughs> nice. All right. Two pikes. No, one pike. One pike that counts. We're in this little bay, this little shallow bay here. I expect there to be some pike in here, but I thought for sure a walleye too. We shall see. It's only uh, it's only starting to get the good time for fishing anyway. We've got a couple hours out here still. Look at that, you can almost see the half dome of the sun cresting the trees there. Beauty. Beauty. I'm glad Kyle caught some. Pressure's off. I, uh, I don't know where he went. Oh, look at a little bite. If I can find a nice shoreline, I'll put a little mech cyclo cyclops so I can um, I can cast, try to get some pike. But either way, this is a beauty night. I'm so glad the sun went down, <laughs> or at least it's going down. It was super hot. What a complaint, right? Oh, it's beautiful weather. Just beautiful weather. Couldn't handle it. Couldn't handle it, but I'm so glad I'm over here. I needed this, guys. I really did. No joke. No joke. And it's only day one. I expect I'm going to get a great night's sleep. Tomorrow, we have a portage right off the hop into another lake. And then, uh, yeah, we'll fish that lake. I don't know if it's supposed to be productive or not. But then we get through to Jigsaw, I believe. And Jigsaw is supposed to be a good walleye lake. For those of you who 
don't know may seem that we're like back at each other it's just all it's all fun it's just all it's what we do it's a banter i really like the guy i'm sure he likes me too you don't have to be worried i get comments sometimes you're so mean to kyle you just you're just not seeing the whole thing <laughs> it's all in good fun and we wouldn't continue to get together with each other and plan these amazing trips and visit each other in california and canada if we didn't like So very peaceful. The wind has calmed right down like I knew it would. It's the name of the game here. What a nice night. There he goes, lively, lively. A little bit of pink some, it's a loon out there calling. A little bit of pinks and blues in the sky. My favorite time of night. You hear him? Bam, son. You don't get better than that. So many nice noises right now. Fishing's getting hot. It's like a back to back. What do I got? Oh my goodness. Walleyes off the chain. Well, Harlan calls this uh, this route, route the walleye primer. He has a bunch of different packages you can, you can get or go on. And he calls this one the walleye primer. I see why. Why? It's just a small. Oh, sweet. He's off. Perfect. All right. And does that count now? You know what I mean? Like, I'm also playing with my camera, not really paying attention. What are the rules? Maybe we should stop worrying about it so much and just fish. That's probably a good idea. Eh? Okay, I'm going back. I swear I'm going back. <laughs> I'm going back. I swear. I'm just slamming them now. This is what. This is what Kyle was doing earlier when I was not doing this. When I was getting hit in the face by large pike. We removed the middle treble out of this um, Ripplin Redfin. It's a good thing because it's not necessary and it would have just tore up more things. more Rip, rip more lips as it were. going there you go okay I'm going back now <laughs> listen to all the birds pull frog this is magical
mayflies on the water. I keep watching them take off. I keep taking flight. I really do have to get back now. <laughs> this. And here comes the wind. <laughs> yeah, I've missed this. Wow. This is so good for the soul. Honestly, this is like cleansing. It's so peaceful. It's like, it's, it's impossible to put into words. Impossible. I gotta pull my lure up here and go through these narrows. It's pretty shallow actually, this lake, um, anywhere near the shore. There are drop offs, but. Oh, there's a flying V. Brethren, I can hear their wings. I can hear their wings from here. It's so crazy. I got, I got you a pot full of meat. Well, thank you. No problem. Oh, and I, uh, the coals should be started by now. Cool. It's nothing like having a, you know, camp camp wife here. Well, I do recall someone getting the firewood to begin with. <laughs> That's been forgotten. That's, that was so 20 minutes ago. Yeah, that was like, what have you done for me lately? Hmm. Hmm. Hope you're going to give me some more walleye, and then you can cook it. I don't know what you do with that plastic bag. Uh, I was just going to, I was actually going to cook my own, but if you want me to cook yours, I can. Yeah, I cook mine too. All right. All right, I got stuck getting out of the canoe on my knife again. On like, there's a uh, there's a webbing strap on Harlan's canoe. Mm -hmm. There's a webbing strap right there at the seat. Yep, same. And I got my <laughs> and I did that. My foot dunked into the water. I was like, mother. <laughs> this guy. I was like, cap. My pants are dry already. These pants are kick ass. I love these pants. So we got uh, some onions here, some red pearl onions. We got a garlic in there already too. And we're gonna put the walleye we caught. Kyle, can you grab um, yes. that that lard, please? Lard, it's. I put it over my food bag. Hang on. And we'll put the lard in there. Yes. Just a touch of lard as well. So we got a decent amount of uh, fillets, actually. I mean, we, that's at least a pound of food right there. It's right? a lot of food, yeah, man. We'll uh, we'll line it on the garlic and the onions. Maybe we don't do all of this. The same. Just kind of keep them flat so that they actually <laughs> cook properly. <laughs> what is this? So REI, can you please figure out a better foot thing on the chair so I don't kill myself? Yeah, put a better foot thing on the chair. Foot thing on the chair. For Kyle. Just imagine you have a really fat American sitting in Oh my goodness. That's me. Okay, we got one. This is going to be flat, so it'll cook fine. This will cook totally fine. Oh, we didn't get the lard. Sorry. Didn't there. get the lard. Didn't get the lard. In the... Do you want these? Or I not? do not. Okay. I tried really hard to save every piece of meat. That's really um, noble. Thank you. Yep. I'm a good guy. Yeah, well, I won't go that far, but... Okay. Just a little bit of lard in there so they don't dry out so much. Are you going to leave your tackle box here so it just falls in the water? No, after I'm done cooking for you, I'm going to pick it up. I oh. recall you exclaiming that I needed to cook, so. Well, I'm big hungry. Yep. Yep. This is going to be a fun eight days. All right, nice and flat. Good job, Thanks, man. 
try to take some rice. Only if you don't take the... The rice? Oh, this? Yeah. Not long. Okay. Five uh, minutes. This will take ten. Okay. If that. Well, maybe because these coals are garbage, it's, this will take ten. <laughs> we'll see. All right. Are you going to yell at me again for putting the off off stove on the ground? No, I thought it was a twig. I, know. I thought it was a twig, so... It's like a perfect little... Boop! You know? Perfect little boop. We got lemon for it after, too. All right. She done. Kyle's whipped up some. What did you whip up, Kyle? I have brown rice and lentils. It's a spicy mix. It's got uh, red pepper flakes, smoked papri paprika, mm -hmm. and a smoked Japanese salt. That sounds very nice. It's going to be very good. The We're Jap going gourmet this time, dude. The Japanese know how to eat. They do. They know how to eat fish, dude. Yeah. Let's do it. Well, let's just get all this dank all over the ground first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's. Invite, how many bears can we attract? Invite the bears. Oh, oh it's some bears. Juicy it's there, yeah, right? it's the lard. Oh yeah, eh? Oh, stump it. Oh, it's a lardy one, eh? <laughs> we don't dare even put our fire out. It's lard. Ah, douche. Kiddush. This is going to be the best meal I think we've ever made. <laughs> Onions, garlic, my like spicy lentil brown rice mix. You know, after doing this for what, seven years or something, we're finally learning what to do. <laughs> I just stopped camping with you for a while and started camping with people who knew what they were oh, doing. Oh, did and that help? Yeah, and then now I understand what to do. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. Who caught more fish? Me. No, I'm pretty sure I caught one fish. Dude, I caught 12 fish today. I, the number keeps going up every time I talk to Man, you. Yeah, I told you that. Are you serious right now, dude? I literally just came back and was like 12. You were like 10. Uh, I said 15, so oh, okay. obviously 15 this is a smaller is number, unless it's a Canadian done. match. Ah, Joe, that is some <laughs> that is some meat. Yeah, that'll be good. That's some good stuff. That's good, thank you. That's good, you need more. It's high fiber. Alright, no more, thank you. Yeah, 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 dunk that in there. We have so much food. <laughs> this is second Z's. We're really getting better at cooking, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, this looks great, man. It's no chub. No. This is, oh, that lemon. The lemon, right? The lemon, my God. Yeah, I never <laughs> thought about portaging a lemon, but woo. No, well, think twice, bye. This is a lot. That's a lot. Yep. Well, we caught, you know, it's pretty good sized fish. Dude. <laughs> My pot is completely full. My cup runneth over. Yeah, exactly. That's what, honestly, that's what's happening right now. Yeah, that's pretty good. A little bony. Mm. <laughs> you like it? Oh, yeah. It's good. Try the rice, man. It's really good. I'm going to. It's like hot, but not too hot. They're Oh, what is that? Chickpeas or bean peas? Lentils. Oh, you said that. Yes. Excellent source of protein and fiber. Make you poop good. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, that's pretty tasty. Yeah, that's good. It's and spicy. Woo, buddy! Oh man, well, it's not that spicy, but it's like a it's like a good it's good spice. Yeah, like kick like. It's not. it's a smoked paprika and the smoked uh, salt. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. This, this is the best meal I've had in the wilderness. <laughs> yeah? I think so. Wow. That's saying something, Kyle. Well, we normally don't have this much fish. That's true. Or any. Right. <laughs> Usually we talk about the fish. We know they're in the lake, but we never eat the fish. Oh, man. Well, I think we'll just sit here and eat. Yeah? Yep. Probably gonna sit here and eat. The bugs are out, not too bad. No, they've come out, they're not landing on me. They're just mosquitoes though, so that's great. I did have a couple black flies over at the uh, one of those bays, but 
the mayflies are in, were in, the most the craziest thing I've ever seen. So many, it was like I couldn't see in the sky. <laughs> yeah, man, this is a uh, this is different. This is a different place, isn't it? Yep. Oh yeah. You can feel it. It's like everything. It's, it feels like a like a I don't know more real or something. At night, I think is when it really comes alive. Yep. Like, after like seven, eight o'clock, I really, really enjoy it. Yes. Um, in the morning, tomorrow. So we didn't even get here till halfway through the day. Tomorrow right morning, noon. Yeah. Tomorrow morning, the fish will be fire, and then we can travel in the morning, fish. When it gets hot, we can find a nice campsite and find some, put up a tarp, get some shade, have a nap, swim, yep. short lunch. All sounds good. Living the life out here. Just here with my bush buddy. Um, I'm I'm about ready to get some twigs going. This is the first time you've never seen this never before seen this on video. Before. Brand new. Oh, shut up now. What's that? I'll oh, shut up. Oh no, it's <laughs> definitely. I would have said it by the end of the trip. So we got our bush buddy. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is get some small twigs and then I, and then I just take a lighter right to right it. to the twigs. Right to don't the twigs. Don't even need birch bark, guys. No, no birch bark needed because we don't have any. <laughs> It's a good thing, he is. Joe's gonna steal some of my alcohol. <laughs> Look at that, right to it. Look at that. Right. It looks like your thumb's gonna ignite before that. It. What? Um, look at that. Thank you, sir. Thank you. What makes the bush buddy the best ever, Joe? The way it burns. The gasifierness of it. The way it nests in my pot and I don't have to worry about a secondary spot for it. The way it's protected by my pot. How quick it, and easy it is to light up. And then if it fails, or sorry, if it messes up, you just blow it right back into flames. and not, No problem at all. You can touch it after. Or you can pick it up by the bottom. Okay, okay. We're, I think we're sold. Well... I can would, go you, would you consider me your bush buddy? <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Okay. <laughs> you touch it from the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> it gets hot on the top. <laughs> well, it's pretty early. Kyle, what time did you think you got up at? 5.30. 5.30. And it's just after 6 now. It's pretty light, obviously. There's going to be a lot of daylight on this trip. Lots of hours for fishing, exploring, complaining. Wow, that works way better. Oh, I told you to get one when we were at the store. Nah, nah, nah. No, I don't want to spend $50. I'd rather not be able to drink when I want to. I didn't drink, I just have to go really slow. Mm. Yep. Oh. No, I'm okay, thank you. Okay. I haven't eaten anything this morning. I don't want my first bite to be candied ginger. Mm hmm Yep. But thank you. No, no problem. 
I have three more of these, so. <laughs> you got about three days left to the set. Bam! The world's worst lid. Doesn't that look good with all those dried fruits in there? And a little bit of extra hot water left over even. Fancy, fancy pants, Joe. So uh, this is some healthy oatmeal and I put flax seed in it and I also put some probiotic chia powder in it. Yum! Yeah, no, I, actually the chia powder is good. And now I got the dried fruits. Although the chia powder, they say you shouldn't put it with warm stuff. But oh well, I'm a rule breaker, you know? Always been. Rebel without a clue. Wait, did you almost say that? What? Because I almost said rebel without a cause. No, I didn't almost say I said it, like, jokingly on purpose. I was about ready to yep. start singing that song. Let's we'll sing it, Kyle. Huh? Dabu dabu da! <laughs> <laughs> With the beaver hats and Ben Davis slacks! No? No. 30 pack of whoop! No Rogaine in Kyle's hair. Nothing, man. Nothing. Time, wish me luck. Yeah. Great success. Everything turned out all right. Feeling pretty good. Got everything packed up now. We're gonna get out onto the water, start paddling. The sun is already intense, very intense. Been taking it easy a little bit this morning, so it is. Well, it's only 7.30. We've been up for a couple hours. <clears throat> Get out and go fish. We're pretty close to our 300 meter portage into the next lake. But, we'll take our time. i got to make sure to get some sunscreen on today. It's uh, I did yesterday. It just took a little bit for me. But, we'll go do that now before we, uh, before we get on the boat. What? Riveting narration. You like that? Just letting the people know what's going on, you know? My boat smells like fish. That's good, right? Your face smells like fish. Hi there. You didn't fall in. I didn't. Very disappointing. Great success. <laughs> uh, sunscreen up hardcore, man. So very many things, so many things. Bah. There you go. Great success. 
success. A little bright. Touch bright. Oh yeah. Here we go. Beauty day already. Wow. This is sketchy. This is so sketchy. Nope. Hello, little guy. Go on, you're good. There he goes. So we dropped off our bags over there. This is my new uh, yoke setup. You screw the yoke right in as opposed to clamping it on. I don't know, we'll see how I like it. I like the clamp personally. I've not had experience with these screws, so see how she goes takes a touch longer I'll tell you that much right now all right we're ready to go Get everything strapped in that needs to be the rest of the stuff's over at the end of the portage oh Nelly she's front heavy why is she front heavy Uh, we're going through an old burn here. The same one that I was talking about earlier. So, it's a lot of scrub that's come up. There's a lot of uh, aquatic plants. This is a big uh, floating mat, really, right here at least. Oh, where did I come from? Where did I come from? Where did I go? Portage Joe. I lost Kyle. He was down at the end. We dropped our gear and he stayed there. And I came back for the canoe. She's hot. She's a hot one today. Oh, I'm sweating. Just sweating. Oh. I'm hot. How was that portage for you? Uh, it was good. I'm glad uh, it was. I had no idea what to expect on these portages. Yeah. They're like kind of marked. With what? Um, old footprints. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's not going to twist it, folks. Yeah, it's not like signs. There's no, it's not like a super highway. Like, There's no gone. No well, the days of having dry pants and shoes are over. I was extremely proud of myself keeping dry shoes all day yesterday. You did. I was impressed. <laughs> That's kind of a rare thing. Not so much anymore. Excuse me. Excuse me, Your Highness. We are into our second lake. Apparently, this lake is not that uh, productive. We'll probably troll through it. Get on to the next portage, which is over 500 meters, so... Yay! Up and at them! Yay, portage! Paddling by a really old burn here, maybe about a 20-year-old burn, judging by the size of those uh, green trees coming in. Obviously, all those dead ones have been burned, and it's dead standing for a long time. Those little spruce and jack pine that are growing up to replace them. 
It's a circle of life. This is really pretty. We're just kind of coasting along here and not having to paddle. The wind's right exactly at our backs. In this narrow little intimate stream. Birds everywhere. Underhang. Been trying to fish on it. Kyle had a big bite, but lost it right at the boat. No luck yet here. I got a decent sized walleye on this little lake, but too early to keep anything. So we're on to Jigsaw now. Two portages later. This is the best walleye lake I've been on ever. I've caught like five in a matter of minutes. I've got a bike, two walleye on the stringer. So we're gonna let this guy go. Kyle's got, I don't know, he had one when I saw him. Either way, we have a lot of food. So we're gonna go uh, find a campsite on this lake. And regardless if we, it's, uh, it's 12.30. So if we're, regardless if we camp on this lake or not, we're gonna go have a shore lunch at a campsite. This has all been burned. This has all been burned before, so there's not gonna be good shade. Potentially not good firewood, but we'll see. Where is Kyle? Hold up! Hold up! I don't see him. He's not responding to my Sherpa call. Oh, there he is. Oh man, what a nice day. So the, the the second portage was, man, these, 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 while I keep hitting and then following it up to the boat, it's going to hit it right at the boat. Oh man, he followed it right up. They keep hitting like two or three times and then committing, which is different than the other night. But I'm, I've been angling, I've been casting a lot more as opposed to um, trolling. So I can really feel the hits. But yeah, they're all in here. They're all in here. Very walleye Walleye-esque. Wall-esque. Walleye. Got some lunch. Not too shabby. Uh, what, what happened? What do you mean? Well, you look a little wet. Well, on the last portage, I decided that this little piece of mud looks stable. So I put all of my weight on it and then sunk in to the point where my life jacket was <laughs> keeping me floating. So I'm, uh, these pants do dry really quick, so good job, Fall Raven. Beauty. Mm -hmm. Well, this campsite we've stopped at, we're definitely not going to sleep here, not going to camp here. Um, neither of us like the fact that it's an old burn, there's no real uh, shade trees, but it's a great spot for a lunch. Kyle's going to rig up that tarp and get a fire going. I'm going to go clean up these fish. You want to just use that bush buddy and uh, yeah, breading? Yeah, for sure. I'll get some slags. Cool. Okay. That's what we'll do. It'll be a nice big lunch. We got four fish, so it'll be. We need some. We need some twigs for sure. Oh yeah. Right. Not too shabby. Oh, did I knock something down? Something's falling, bud. What happened? There we go. How do you tighten that? So 
it, it, it constricts on itself, so you gotta kind of unloosen Loosen it. it a bit. Yeah. And then. Okay. I'm gonna try rigging this up with different pair, different line later. The line is nice because it's light, but it seems like it would slip. It does. It's the problem is it doesn't. Slip. Oh. It like it. It see how it's weaved. Yeah, yeah. It, it like it goes like that, so it doesn't. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean it's not a, the perfect tarp system, but. Well. She works, bud. Yeah, we're we're dealing with. Uh, Very, very little tiny trees on very, very tiny islands. That's true, yeah. There's not much trees to tie off to. All stunted. Are you still talking to the camera? Yeah, man. I thought you were just talking loudly for no reason. Yeah, Kyle, all these trees are... You're like, yeah, Joe, I just said that, man. Like, I'm right here. <laughs> He's really yelling at us. What the f***? <laughs> what, what, what? What are you doing? I need my chair. Give me my chair. If I tie it back to the glass, There we are. Making a slight modification of the tarp. I'm making a gear bomb. Okay, well, we'll have our job. <laughs> Indubitably. Oh, I'm down. Oh, come on. I'm downwind here, homie. There's a lot of wind. <laughs> All right. We'll let that lard get sizzling. Put another piece in here, probably. Another two pieces, even. It's shaking bacon. I helped. Anyone? Remember that, or are you too young? Too young, too little? It's like a little guy. It's like a little guy. Where the one just stopped? Yeah, it's strange. Keeps doing that, eh? Mm hmm. Oh, bud. I think we might need a little touch more lard in that. Yeah, definitely we do. We'll get some more in there. It's shaking bacon, I feel. So see, there used to be something called shake and bake, shake and bake. Mm -hmm. That's it. Cool. Good try, bro. Looking good. Yeah, I'm good for that. Okay. All right, we got six pieces done. A little bit more lard in there. And do the rest. We've got some lemon and salt to go on it too. So it should be phenomenal. Phenomenal. Throw a little bit of that on there? Yeah, we did. We got salt and uh, lemon already. It might be a little... Pitch hot? Yeah. Okay. Like a lot. <laughs> like, it's gonna scald you. Yes. <laughs> you can feel the melting hotness. <laughs> She's hot. She's mm. toasty, bud. Oh, Dude. she's toasty, Dude. bud. Yeah. Prime. Like, a little bit of salt is needed, but it's so good. <laughs> oh, yeah, right? Lovely. Lovely. Wow, that's good. That's pike. Look at Y bones, I bet. Yep, that's pike, dude. It's still good. Well, I don't know really? what one you got. Well, I don't know. Whatever I got is really This good. is phenomenal right here. Wait till you get pike. Oh, I'm super stoked on that. Too bad I didn't bring breading on my 10-day trip. <laughs> That's not bushcraft. Woo! Tasty. Very tasty. Okay, second batch. The pike has a different flavor. Yeah. You like it or no? It's like, um, it's like a meatier, kind of fattier, richer taste almost. I can't really tell the difference. It mainly tastes like breading to me. Mm -hmm. There's lots of bones though, that's how I can tell. Yeah. I like it. I like the pike like this. Mm -hmm. So we've been sitting here, well, over an hour, eh? Yeah. It's really nice not having to have a schedule or a destination. We get to pick if we want to move spots or change up our route, anything. We find a good lake with a decent campsite, we just stop.
we have like a, a preset course that we should be to this place by this time, unless he hears otherwise, to pick us up, but it doesn't matter every night. Oh. And that doesn't even matter. It doesn't. We're just going to call and say, hey, we're at this lake. Come pick us up. We got supplied with a, cell, uh, a sat phone from Red Lake Outfitters. We both got spot devices. You, he's got it. Kyle's got an in reach. We're all safe. We can get message to Harlan in three different ways. Come pick us up. Kyle can't catch any fish. He's done. It'd be irresponsible to not have at least one or two satellite devices out here. Oh, here? Yeah. We're, si we're 60, as the crow flies, we're 60 miles from the nearest town. Yeah. Yeah, he won't send you out without one. No. You're stupid. I'm a living testament to how good they work. Why don't you tell the, uh, the folks why? Well, I used my inReach saved my life essentially once. I used it in the Sierras to because I had altitude sickness. If you go over to Burley Outdoors, you can check out my video. Yep. It's called When Bad Things Happen, I think, or something like that. Anyways, it was about a year, two years ago. But yeah. So you don't got, get altitude sickness. You had to get choppered out. I got choppered out because I couldn't breathe because my lungs were filling up with liquid. Which is pretty serious. Yeah, it is. But um, yeah. Don't do that. Don't push yourself too far. You got to know your limits. Of course, sometimes you don't know your limits until you hit the limit. What I thought was crazy was with your buddy that you were with. He was fine. And he doesn't have half the experience you do. Mm -mm. So it had nothing to do with that. I was in better shape, too. Just going up too quick? Or? Yeah, it was just, you know, some people get cancer because of genetics, you know. Same kind of concept, right? People are just more susceptible to stuff. Yeah. This fish is damn good, man. I'm it's telling so you. good. This, this is our best lunch we've ever had. Yeah, okay, I'll give you that one. Ah! Best lunch ever. We're the two best lunches that anybody ever had. It's the best lunch that Kyle ever had. a float plane up there. It's the first sign of civilization we've seen in two days. Day and a half. Day. We got dropped off one day ago. Literally just 24 hours. Like 24 hours. It's the first sign of civilization we've seen in 24 hours. Oh, we're gonna head out. It's uh, 2.20. Go paddle down to the end of the lake. There's two campsites that we can see uh, on the map. So we'll go pick the best one. We're both done portaging and moving for today. The next one's 825, so forget that. Yeah, it'll be the biggest one we've had, so we're, we're going to post up. Tomorrow, there's actually a really cool spot we can go check out uh, off, the off the path a bit, um, where it looks like a fjord, we've been told. So we'll go down there and maybe get some pictures of that and stuff. And There's some rapids down there, too. It'll be fun to fish. Maybe even, rapide! Yes, maybe even paddle in them, depending on what they are or look like depending on their severity. Depending on their class. Joke and run them, I'll watch. Are you filming in case I fall in? You know it. <laughs> you fell in last time and said you should have filmed that. Literally the same exact words out of your mouth. Huh? What? Huh? Yeah, hey, you're Good job, man. It's all good. One hand clapping. I don't know. Some Windsor thing. <laughs> All right. Get from here. Huh? Get from here. Get from here. Yeah, per let's go. Perfect. Today has been epic fishing. This is probably one of the best fishing days I've had. Still all on this burn everywhere. Gonna uh, gonna go see those campsites, see if they're burned or not. Either way, we're gonna pick the best one. And if not, maybe we can make one. We're definitely allowed to. It's just all up to our energy levels. So we shall see. We're on the road again.
This is my favorite area we've been at uh, through the trip so far. Not really good fishing here because it's pretty shallow and weedy, but just the scenery is mind blowing. Ready in here. The rock. There's something about those dead trees that just set it off against the sky. A little susicle. A little susilian. Could live here. <laughs> this is pretty. This looks like a little fish sanctuary in here. Okay, so change of plan since last time we seen you, or you saw us even. <laughs> we uh, we did the 850. There's the end. You can see the blue in the in the distance. This is uh, it's okay. It seems like it's longer than 850 to me. It, it does. It's, there's definitely some ups and downs. It's hot. I mean, the it's heat hot. is killing us. I am sweaty boy, sweaty Joe. But look this at this. Very, this is the most recently burned I think we've seen. Look at how crazy this looks. Bunch of nothing. Whole bunch of nothing is right as far as you can see. But then it looks like old growth on the other side. It sure does. Look at that. It hasn't been touched. Good eye, Kyle. Look at that. Hey, you know, you've taught me a few things over the that, years. Yeah, thanks. That's that's where we're camping. We're definitely one million. Nothing is going to stop us. One million percent camping on this lake. I am done. It is hot tamale out here. Five o'clock almost. Why, why would it be hot? There's so much shade right here. Uh-huh. Full shade. Shh. It's not listening. Not you, the bug. Did you just shush me? Man. This is a real canoe trip now. Yay. So tomorrow that means we cut our portage down to 100 meters, potentially. Things change. Things change out here. Soaking up the sun, this guy is. What I'm telling the I got no one to play. Every time you me, Gone. I love frogs. Frogs are my favorite. You're my favorite. I am a frog. Le ribbit. You know what we get to do now, Joe? What's up, man? Go back up the hill and redo this all over again. With sails on our head. In the really exposed windy area <laughs> with the canoe on our heads, yes. <laughs> Can't wait. Well, we're going to rehydrate here big time. I'm going to drink a full water bottle here. And then carry some back to the, to the canoe with me. I'm, I'm, I'm drenched through. Look, you can see how the fire kind of kept scorching, right? And then stopped across the way, across the lake did not get touched. But then this little guy did too. So we're hoping um, that this, this lake is going to be pretty, 
Um, the, the campsites are well treated. It looks like it will be from here. The burn looks really cool. It's just not, it's not um, good to stay because of the sun. So, at least this time of year. Back at them. Second pass on this big old portage. This very well may be the longest portage of the whole trip at over 800 meters. And by the time we walk there, back to get our canoes, and there again, that's uh, not 1800. If I said 1800, I meant 800. Anyways, it's 2400 uh, meters because of this double carry. Feeling the burn. Feeling the burn. Into the burn. Alright, I was trolling in this big lake and I've got something on. I don't know what it is, but it hit like a ton of bricks. It took my line and ran with it for quite some time. We're in a lake trout lake right now. Oh, she's fighting. Oh, I dropped it right there. Oh. Spit it right there. I saw him and everything. He was such a big fish. Womp, womp. Oh, I saw it and everything. Well, we got to the site that we wanted for the day. And lo and behold, the first people that we've seen this whole tri trip were there camped. Do I have a fish? Do I have a fish? Oh, I have a fish. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Maybe that big. It's it's fighting pretty good here. I'm gonna take this one easier, so I don't lose them. I didn't want to lose the other guy either. It's all good, man. It's just a decent sized pike. Yeah. Woo, buddy. Come on. Anyways, there's people at our site that we wanted, so we've uh, kept paddling and paddling and paddling, and everything we see is just all burned. So we came to this beach site to see if we can make make this home for the day or night, rather. <laughs> Nothing to write home about. So we're just pulling up to this sandy campsite now. Still all in the burn. Couldn't escape the burn. We thought we did. We got psyched out. <laughs> There's some islands and some shoreline back on the other side that weren't burned but oh well we'll camp here again tonight and tomorrow we'll be out of the, bu the burn I hope I have no idea I'm just hoping but at least there's a somewhat sheltered site and I'm hoping there's some flat ground for my, my tent tonight How does it look? Oh, uh, there's plenty of fast spots. I'm surprised. Well, I'm beat. We're at the campsite. We are staying here, obviously. I got the lovely, lovely wife's spaghetti rehydrating right now. Oh, burned the crap out of my two fingers. It's, there's a uh, ash next to my or a coal next to my fire uh, my wood stove here and I didn't know what it was I thought it was like I don't know why I just try to pick it up and burn my fingers probably because my brain is mush from all day but that's good today felt like a real um, 
actually like a real canoe trip. Like this is a real canoe trip, don't get me wrong, but this today felt like a, an endurance trip like we used to do, that like we have done in the past. Didn't move half as far as we normally do, but we did a decent amount of portaging and I think the sun really wore us both down. I was silly and I took, I didn't put my long sleeve shirt back on. Look at the, look at, not burned, not too bad, but I shouldn't be getting that much sun exposure. Your neck is red. Yeah, I bet. Old redneck Joe. Where your do you ears. come from? What? Your ears and your neck are red for sure. I definitely put sunscreen on, so hopefully it did something. Oh. It's nice now. The sun's not hitting us. Yeah, at least there's sun shade. <laughs> This is a big old pot of scary. Rehydrated perfectly. If you guys notice a few things different than my um, than my gear video, obviously these aren't the pants that I, I said I was gonna bring or wear. Uh, I got a couple separate, th a couple different things that I didn't say I was gonna have. Um, I got jealous of Kyle's new Fjallraven Abisko lights. But I don't like the color, they're too dark, right? For this kind of thing, for me personally, for bugs and for sun, even though there's no bugs. So we went to, in Thunder Bay, we went, we, uh, we stayed there overnight on the, on the layover coming to here. And we said, let's go to an outdoor store because we had absolutely nothing to do. And believe it or not, Thunder Bay might not have a lot of things to do. <laughs> but the Walmart was The Walmart was ancient. It was interesting. T-Bay. Anyway, so we went to an outdoor store. I saw these there. I had to grab them. The tan color is really great They have um, for, for bugs and for sun. They have zips on the side. Pretty happy with them. There's a few other things, but I don't know what it is. But anyways, that's the explanation if you're wondering why I didn't show like you. All of your videos, basically. Yeah, here's some things. I don't know the rest. Yeah, basically. Anyway, that's... Anyways, I'm sorry. No, no. No, you're right. These noodles are vegetable. Let's get right. Vegetable. What kind of vegetable? There's many types. Many many types. There are many types of vegetables. They're they're mixed up with many types of vegetables in here because they're gluten free. So they're not they're not a grain. They're not like a rice or a quinoa vegetable. It's like a I don't know. I don't know. Zoodles? Zoodles. Zoodles. I like zoodles. What is that? You take a zucchini and you turn you use a you think of a spiralizer, it's like Turns it into it looks like noodles. Mm -hmm. That was a bailey. That was a bit much. Anyway, we're here. <laughs> That's it. We're here. We're gonna go out fishing, I assume, later on, but not now. This wind is too much. It's too much. Too much. No mass. Too much. I'm not gonna swim either. Picked a tick off myself already, so we just gotta keep keep an eye out for them. They're not the bad ones or anything, but they're not fun either, right? Nobody likes a tick. Hey Joe, can you give me a tick check? <laughs> Day five, bud. Okay. It'd be nice and juicy by then. Okay. I, I rolled the dice last night and I didn't put my tent fly on. It is. There's not a cloud in the sky. All those even. Little puffy clouds are gone. I think I'll do the same again today. And uh, yeah, if, if anything comes up, if it starts raining, I'll just throw a little tarp on over top and 
hope for the best, but I like to have the ventilation. And I like to see the stars. I was able to lay here and look at the stars through my tent last night, and that was really cool. So I'll keep my <coughs> extra tarp nice and handy in case <laughs> bug just flew into my mouth. <laughs> I'm gonna put the brakes on and go sideways. <laughs> Massive lake and we can crash into each other. <laughs> second one in of the night. Feels like a pike. Oh, and he spit it right at the boat. All right. Womp womp. Okay. Patrolling deep. And I'm in the middle. And I just got a hard hit. So, hoping for a laker. And we shall see. What are you? Oh! Oh! What are you? What are... Oh! It's a pike. Good hit, good fight, and I got him just in the lip too. So with any luck, I'll be able to just unhook him pretty easily here. Get him on, get him on his way. He just cut me up something fierce. Thanks, bud. There he goes. Look at the size of that guy. It's probably the biggest pike of the trip. Go on, killer. Oh! Oh! I hope it's not the same fish. I hope it's not the same fish. What are you? <laughs> Double header, back to back, back to back. Okay, this is a fight too. Woo! Yeah! What is this? Oh, I'm all cut up from that fight. Big time. What are you? Tell me you're a laker. Tell me you're a lake trout. What are you? What are you, bro? Oh! Oh! messing around way too much right now but he is he's fighting oh I think it's a laker look at that that's a good bow in the rod whoa dude what is it what is it what is it come here come here come here come here come in my boat come in my boat oh, oh no it's all caught on the other the other hook now son of a gun I gotta get him in I gotta get him in come on big guy yeah it's a laker come on buddy in the boat 
in the boat. Bam, son. On the board. On the board with the Laker. Woo! Okay. That was cool. Things falling everywhere. Got a Laker. Decent sized Laker. Small Laker. But it's a Laker. Okay. Woo, buddy. A lot of things just happened. A lot of things just happened. <laughs> okay. You gotta like go. Like how to like There we go. A nice laker. Very pretty. Light in color. It'll be a midnight snack for Kyle and I when we get back. We'll split it. That is if Kyle doesn't get one of his own. I hope he does. He's not had one or not caught one yet in Woodland Caribou. He's the first place I ever caught one. So I have faith for sure. Man, what a, what a gorgeous night. This place, this, this whole trip, man. This whole trip is going so good. It's like amazing weather, great fish, good buddy. They were complaining that we're in this like burn. Like, who cares, man? Look at this place. There's like 40, meh, about 35, 40 minutes left before the sun hits the horizon. Then the really nice colors will start to come out. <sighs> Woodland Caribou, man. I love this place. I miss, this is such a good, good trip already. Day two, only day two. Hopefully we'll paddle out of the burn tomorrow. It'd be nice to camp in like a, a real forest, but again, like this has an amazing quality all its own. The sun is just relentless. Shade would be nice. Anyway, we're gonna stay out here and paddle. I gotta fix my hands up when I go back to camp. I gotta use my first aid kit and bandage them up and stuff. I don't want to get infected out here with dealing with all these fish. I remember last time my hands got all sorts of beat up. So, um, anyway, yeah, we'll do that. My old first aid kit will come in handy. I only brought a tiny little one, but everything I need, there's like a little bit of ointment, some band-aids. Duct tape and a lighter. <laughs> Let's go try to find Kyle. I got ya. Uh. <laughs> what? Are you okay? Not on my hand. Hmm. Seems upset. I get it. I really do get it. Sun's casting this awesome pinkish hue on all the burnt trees and exposed rock. Very pretty. Look at that. What a sunset.
Just making our way back to camp now. We're going to go back and build up a fire and cook this trout. This is a perfect night. The temperature is amazing. There's just like a slight warm breeze in the air. I love this. Absolutely live for these nights. <sighs> Almost back to the camp now. There, there's this like cool breeze in the air. It turned from warm to cool and it's very refreshing. Feels lovely. There's a smell too. It's like almost smells like rain. Oh. I love these nights. Did I say that? Did I mention that already? I might put a like. Oh, I don't have a sweater. I don't have a sweater. I have a long sleeve shirt. I might even put a long sleeve shirt on tonight. What? I might put a, like a warm shirt on. <laughs> what is this warm? <laughs> oh, it's beauty. Just beauty. There's our camp. I might put my tent fly on tonight after all. What? Well, living on the edge, you know. Every now and then, I'm bound to come up with an L. Let's not make that tonight. Hmm? What? You want to make out <laughs> no, I will not make out with you. Probably gonna have to. You're gonna. Probably you're gonna, gonna have, have to edit that. Edit that yeah, one. You can save that for a private reserve. <laughs> Don't you still have one of those? There's one of those out there. It's like on lockdown. It's like a three-minute-long video of us just being absolutely. Maybe. It, it's That's... out there somewhere. I wish we could find that, actually. It's probably, is, is it on my other YouTube channel, maybe, in private? It might be. The other random one you had? What's the other one? Yeah, what's the other one? It still, for some reason, comes up in my suggested videos from time to time. That's really weird. Yeah, right? They have, like, 15 views. Yeah. All right. I guess I can get out of my canoe now. No, 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 no. I would just sit there. Cola? Yep. Can you show from the end? <laughs> I, I figured that would happen. <laughs> I'm just lock it's just up. a joke. No, just, no, 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 Don't go to your work. You got oh, it? Yeah, yeah, thank you. What's up? I see you have made fire. I have made the fire. That was pretty epic. You made the fish? Oh, I have some fish here. Oh. Oh. You have? Mmm, trout. Yeah, boy. Well, thank you, Joe. It's very good. Oh, no problem. I'm glad you like it. It's nothing like little chicken fish McNuggets in the middle of the woods. Uh -huh. Look at that, boy. Look at that. So. I really like it, but I think I prefer the walleye. Kyle? I'm going to have to agree with you. The lake trout is very good. It's just that the meat's a touch on the soft side, whereas the, um, the walleye is perfect, like really chicken nuggets. But anyways, this is very good. Very, very good. Not complaining. 
not complaining. Now I get to see how level or more likely unlevel my bed is. Uh huh. Same Z's. Yeah. Oh. Well, I guarantee you, lay in there, you're gonna fall asleep too. <laughs> It's flat. I got a flat lay today. Flat lay Friday. Oh. All right, guys. Night two. What? <laughs> uh -huh. What? Yep. Night two done. Great day. Absolutely great day. It chilled down. It dropped the temperature dropped quite a bit. So I got a tuca on, long sleeve pants, new socks fully in this sleeping bag now too not just using it like a quilt it'd be nice to see if tomorrow brings that with it I wouldn't mind that at all so we'll catch you with you guys in the morning check you later check you later